I heard Till actually posted about me as well, but he took it down. Someone was uh, talking about, um, someone sent me a message saying, you see Till did you? And I checked it. It wasn't there. So I don't know what he said. If Drickus wins impressively, do you have to automatically consider him one of the middleweight goats? No, he would be up there though. I don't think he would be one of the goats that quickly, but um, he would be a uh, top five for sure. He would have beat Izzy, Rob dominantly and Strickland. Yeah, if he was then to rematch Strickland and then beat the winner of Chimeyev Whitaker, then he'd be in a conversation. Sup, Goo, long-time supporter. Thank you for the $2, dude. Glad to have your support. Impression of Guru reading a $2 super chat that's asking for too much. Come on, dude, for $2. Come on, come on. Thank you very much for the $5. Appreciate that, man. Thank you. Can you explain to us in great detail why the middleweight division sucks so bad? No, I cannot. It's just really bad, though. Even on the contender series just then, I watched those two fight. It looked like man, gassed out after a round, and it wasn't even a crazy pace. Insane to watch how bad they are. Middleweight is typically a bad division. Most athletes in general are about middleweight sized. Most athletes are six feet tall, 205 pounds. What about that horrible Sean O'Malley card? Has there been a horrible Sean O'Malley card? You mean the one coming up? Or, I don't know. Thank you for the $2. Thank you for the $5. Lucas Tracy and MMA Guru are like trees. Guru just has more branches. I thought it was a really good analogy. Sometimes you just got to think about something on the spot to segue into your next point. But I understand if you guys don't talk to anyone in real life, you wouldn't understand that. And that's coming from me as well. Sometimes you just got to say a random thing, you know, a playful uh, colloquialism, and then you get back to the next point. Thank you for the $5. Saw the interview and thought Guru's coming for the aerial spot. Keep it up and you'll get the whole UFC roster wanting a spot in Jerusalem. Thank you for the $5. True. Who should I have on for the next pay-per-view? What is the next pay-per-view? Who's on there? Um, Pression Aspinall keeping Jones from his back. I don't know. Thank you for the $2. Man crashes after height. You know what? I don't want you on me back. Oh my God, Tom Aspinall. Stop letting randomers try shooting takedowns on you. Slippy, slippy. Well done, Hugo. Good wizard. Get oh. Oh, <laughs> I'll tell you what. He's got some good techniques. That was nice. That was yeah. nice. He had a little wizard in there at one nice. point. Beautiful, mate, man. Stuff. Cheers, mate. Thank you. That was good. Dude, what the fuck are you doing posting that shit? You slipped and they're all going to have about it. Fucking pissed me off that video because as soon as I saw it, I went, oh no, dude. Oh no, dude. Tom, he went for like a sweep on the guy and he like slipped and lost his foot in. And now everyone's just saying, oh, Jones fucking cooks him, dude. Oh, it's so fucking annoying. But I'm glad they think that. Maybe then Jones will fight. He lost his foot in and everyone freaked out. I know it is a bad look though, but he literally slipped on his left foot. <laughs> oh, fuck. He isn't insecure, that's why. I know, but the whole internet's now like, wait, if a randomer did that, then what could Jones do? And it's like, oh, Jesus. Thank you for the two pounds. Can't pig because you haven't accept, so just send me a DM. I don't know what your name was again now. <laughs> I, can't, I can't, remember what you, can't remember what you said your name was now. I'm genuinely sorry, like... Uh, uh, I don't give a fuck about you at all, and I don't care. <laughs> I don't care about your dumb DM. <laughs> I ain't gonna ever check it. <laughs> I ain't looking up shit. <laughs> I ain't checking your gay DM, bro. Shut the fuck up, man. Uh, thank you for the two dollars, Django. I can't breathe. All right, calm down. You killed it there. <laughs> Tony versus Peak. Tony versus Nick D. Cards have low ceilings because UFC only promotes on fight week and most cards are watered down for once a while, stacked pay-per-view. I just feel like there could be way more big fights, but most of these guys are fighting once a year. When's the last time we saw Covington? When's the last time we saw Oliveira? When's the last time we saw so-and-so? I think Oliveira was actually quite recent, but still. There's a lot of names that you can point out on a roster that you just haven't seen for a year. You know, it's just too many of those names these days. Thank you for the $20.
I miss Flukes. We all miss Flukes Glazer, but he didn't have it in him. He weren't a true MMA fan. I mean that as well. I like Lucas Tracy. I rate him, and I hope he does really well moving forward. He was never a true MMA fan. No true MMA fan would give up this job. None. I mean that, and I genuinely mean that. Here you go, Gracia. Here's your fucking clip that you can put a bad political take on at the start of. Like you always do, Gracia, you bitch. Oh, I know fighters are going to watch this clip. Let me make the most controversial political take, the first fucking clip of the clip video. Fucking annoying little cunt he is. Drickers is bound to watch this one. Let's get his thoughts on this to start. Fucking bitch. I hate this guy. Either way, though, I rate Lucas. I always liked his channel. I think he made great videos. I actually never helped his channel because I knew he could do it on his own. I never, like, raided him or anything like that because I knew he's doing it on his own. He doesn't need me to pander to his channel. And I hope, he'd, I hope for the best of him moving forward. He was not a real MMA fan. No MMA fan gives up a YouTube career talking about MMA for a living. Not one. Especially not when they first get it going. Like the first year that he's finally like mainstream. He just bins it off. What a fucking L. All I'm saying, I'm angry at him. I'm angry at him now. You couldn't have just lied and just toned down the amount of content you were doing. Just showed up for the fight companions. If you're a real MMA fan, you're watching the fights live anyway. You might as well stream it. Why not? Watch the fights anyway. If you're a real MMA fan, you would do even without having a YouTube channel. And you do the video and then do a prediction video in the middle of the week. And then maybe an MMA news reaction once a week. Four, vi three videos a week watching the cards. That's all he needed to do to maintain his channel. All good though. I'm just saying, I just, I don't mean to pile on now he's gone, but I always thought that like, this guy ain't a real MMA fan. How would you leave this shit? This is the best thing ever. I'd rather do no other job in the world than this. But maybe Lucas Tracy is such a giga chad uh, gym maxer that he's even more into that than MMA. See that? Maybe it's Lucas Tracy, Ariel, Hawani collab. You never know what it's going to be. Maybe Lucas Tracy and Ariel have been working together this whole time. Why else would you leave a career talking about MMA for a living that pays you good money, a really good living, <laughs> just when you started to get it going and you've got 100K subs and you're young? I don't get it. I really don't get his decision. He can't be a real MMA fan. And it hurts to have to come to terms with that. There's no way he is. I don't buy it. You're not a real... MMA fans, it's your life. MMA is your life. And the, and the things around MMA is the other flares of life, you know? It's wearing black. I mean, I always wear black, to be fair. Dana said Connor isn't fighting in 2024. God damn. It's called having a life. No, it's not, man. Having a life is dead and boring and shit. MMA. It's called having a life. Shut the fuck up and make hundreds of thousands. Talking about MMA, please, Lucas Tracy. All this shit about having a life, bro. How many years should you be watching MMA? I don't know. If you have to ask if you're an MMA casual, you're an MMA casual. How about that, chat? What were you thinking? Banana MMA. You don't need to... If you are not a casual, you don't need to ask me that question. That's all I'm saying. Like people with nine to five jobs have no life. They don't. I didn't when I was working nine to five. Not that they don't, but you know what I mean? They would, people that work nine to five that are MMA fans would do anything to have Lucas Tracy's job and he's just thrown it away. You know? I think that. I know there's millions of MMA fans that would love to be in Lucas Tracy's position and he just got to 100K and threw it away. Threw it away. Could have been set for life after a few more years of YouTubing. Boom. Chuck that shit away, bro. Crazy to me. I, I, it's, it's just crazy. I can't believe that he did it. Lucas was always a fake fan. All right, let's not start ro like roasted Lucas. I'm just saying I can't believe he did it. Fake fan. He's failed fitness YouTuber. All right, calm down. Was a clout chaser from the start. Explains his lack of knowledge. All right, calm down, dude. He knows the sport. You should have known and made a living copy in your picks. He was in here for three years before he started his channel, but not three years, but like two. Yeah, I'm not trying to roast him, though. I'm just saying, like, I can't believe that he, he stopped. 
Thoughts on if the reason 306 only has 10 fights is because they might put the tough finale fights on it? Yes, that's definitely what it's going to be. Thank you for the $5. Yeah, you've you've hit the nail on the head there. Perfect timing for it as well. What do you think they're going to do for 307? Um, I have no idea how they're going to save that dog shit card. I think they'll do Pantoja Asakura. I do have an idea. Thank you for the $2, Austin Rees. Appreciate you, man. One through 10, how likely is it Jones drops out of the fight if Stipe drops out due to the injury, if Tom is called to all this shit like, on top of it all? Sorry. Uh, one through 10, how likely is it Jones drops out of the fight if Stipe drops out due to injury and Tom is called to step up? I think that'd be a really bad look for Jones and I think he would pull out. What do you guys think, chat? I think he would pull out. If Stipe genuinely pulled out and it was him versus like Tom Aspinall on two weeks notice, he pulls out of that fight for sure. Drickus Duplessis custom shorts. Still not seeing them. Oh, there they are. Yeah, there's some African ones. That's really cool. Yeah, Drick is definitely one with those for sure. Thank you for the uh, twenty dollars. Are you? He was actually the first champ to fight under No Usada. Are you related to pro wrestler Giant Haystacks from the UK and looks exactly like you? I get that a lot. Thank you for the five dollars. I don't know. I don't think I am related to him, but a lot of people say that. Even my parents say that, that I look like him. 